country, people are being told at their apartment complexes that you can no longer own guns or any other weapon and are not allowed to defend yourself. Uh, if you defend yourself, you will be thrown out. And of course, they're violating their rights. They've signed up with under one contract. And then now they're telling them you've got till next week to get out of your apartment uh, if you don't turn your guns in. Uh, or get your weapons out of your house. And uh, that's a report up on Infowars.com uh, via News 9 NBC out of Denver. But uh, this is actually going on all over the country. Homeowners associations are now retroactively trying to vote that you can't own guns uh, and retroactively saying they want to inspect your house. So the new elitism is to be basically a, an in-between between a Soviet commissar and a Nazi Gestapo officer. And so now wealthy country clubs are hiring cops to wear battle gear and stand around with machine guns in front of the country club, just randomly. Weddings are doing it. It's like bling. It's like, look, I got cops in battle gear. You know, I'm, I, I mean, it's beyond what the uh, you know, hip-hop folks do with the ladies in bikinis dancing around with the bling. It is just, it, it, it is just a nation boiling in, in a fascination with enslavement, and insecurity and tyranny in the name of security when it's actually the opposite of security and homeland security speaking of that uh, which is the foreign globalist occupation group here to absorb america uh, is now putting up billboards and tv ads saying homeland security has been criticized over sexy spy ads where they show good-looking women uh, reporting on exclusively white people it's all minorities reporting uh, on the devil white so, uh, again, they've already said all the brown people are terrorists now, and so now all the white people must be terrorists. Jack Spratt could eat no, eat no fat. What's the old quote? Jack Spratt could eat no fat and his wife could eat no lean. So in between the two of them, they licked the platter clean. Uh, I mean, basically, that's what they've done here. It's just everybody's a terrorist, but the government that publicly runs Al-Qaeda worldwide and puts out fake terror alerts and runs drugs on record. Everybody's bad, but the real terrorist. But it's okay, because they love us and they want to take good care of us. So we're going to be taking your phone calls, and I have my reporters in here. One of them went out yesterday and talked to people uh, about being spied on, and almost all of them uh, said that they loved it and thought it was a great idea to have no rights and be spied on. That was uh, Leanne McAdoo's report. And then Gigi Ernetto went out and did a report. Uh, just We heard about these spontaneous um People over overpasses with American flags against the NSA and calling for the impeachment of Obama and against the move to take our guns. Thousands showed up in L.A., hundreds in other cities, uh, more than 10 places I know of in Austin in two different demonstrations where you'd have 20 people, 10 people. Still just amazing that that happened spontaneously off the Internet. Uh, and, and these people had the light of liberty in their eyes. They were well-spoken. Just to contrast the dead eyes of the zombies just begging to be enslaved and overrun by every form of evil uh, versus those that are out there standing up for these fools' rights. Uh, just amazing. So let's go to your phone calls, though, as promised uh, right now. Uh, let's talk to Angelo in New York. You're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Paisan, Kizadich. I'm calling from New York, and, uh, wow, a lot of crazy things are going on in New York, Alex, and uh, watching your show on YouTube woke me up to a lot of it. And when I try to explain this to a lot of my friends and family, they're just like in la-la land. And I think it's, I figured out why. I mean, I went to nyc.gov and I realized all the sodium fluoride that they're putting in our water. And, and if you go to their website and you look it up, you'll notice how they explain everything to us on how it's supposedly supposed to be good for you. But little do they know, they don't show containers of the big skulls on the sodium fluoride that they're supposed to be labeling. They don't show that on the website. And we're also having a major prescription drug problem in New York. Everybody's like in La La Land. And a lot of people I know are dying from prescription drugs. I've been to a few funerals in the past few years. Um, it's a huge police state. They're pulling over everybody on especially near uh, midtown Manhattan. It's just like, I feel like I'm going through Germany in, 19, in the late 30s, um, searching through my stuff, uh, start, uh, stopping my bike, shutting my bike, 
um, to putting gloves on, about to hit me, police. Um, it's just horrible what's going on, and a lot of people aren't aware about what's going on. And I would say more people that are aware of it are the people who have access to the Internet. So a lot of older people don't have access to the Internet, and they don't know what's really going on because they're watching Fox and CNN. But I have experienced so many different crazy things that are going on in New York right now. And I think that InfoWars should be on every newsstand in New York. Every newsstand, InfoWars should be there. Whatever we have to do, Alex, to get it out there, we have to do it. Well, that's why I put out the magazine and have a plan to try to syndicate it. I just don't have the money, the infrastructure, or the managerial talent uh, to properly do it, but but we've got a pretty good team overall. We're trying to do it. We just are doing so many things, uh, you know, developing the TV show with all these stations already lined up to pick it up, uh, trying to finish the Obama deception too, doing the Daily Show, uh, dealing with the collapse of just general society and people's mental health just around us. Uh, it is all all of us are fighting as hard as we can, brother. And God bless you. And I appreciate you calling. Good to hear from you, Angela. Yeah, since you mentioned the fluoride in the water, they knew in the 1800s they had studies on what fluoride that got into water supplies uh, was doing, that it was brain damaging people and also making them docile. And then they got University of Texas study from the 20s you can pull up that it lowered IQ, made people docile. The Soviets starting in the 20s started putting it in the water in work camps, and that's in Pulitzer Prize winning books, you can look it up. The Hitler got that from them. He put it in his work camps, not his death camps, in his work camps. Uh, they put, what was it, three parts per million in it. Uh, but that made them too sluggish, so they went down to 1.6. We have, we have the Nazi model of it put in our water on record. And the average person just can't deal with that. So then last year, a Harvard study comes out looking at 24 studies, including some of their own, over the last uh, several decades and said, wow, it lowers women's IQ 17 points. If you just drink this water for 10 years as a child, uh, and it lowers men, I think it was 23 points, so I just say 20 point, because that averages together. And, and massive cancer increases, I mean, it just, it, 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 I mean, look at the public, look at us all, we're all ugly compared to our grandparents and parents. I mean, we all, you know, I mean, my dad looked like a movie star, my mom looked like a movie star. I mean, I, I look pretty good talking a little bit older, but I look ragged and drugged out and ugly and old, even though I try to eat non-GMO and all the rest of it. I mean, we're walking dead, folks. And I mean, look at my grandparents. They look like movie stars. I look at old photos. Even you just average people just look really healthy. They ate like pigs. They smoke cigarettes. They drank like fish. You know, most people do, and they look great. You go look at the French who don't eat GMO. I mean, they smoke two, three packs of cigarettes, drink constantly. You have uh, hundreds of sexual partners. They live on average just like almost a decade longer than Americans. We are being murdered, folks. We are the model, okay? Everybody needs to understand that. Uh, and th this is the type of, of, of society we're in. The rats they feed GMO, in every case, within three generations, are almost completely sterile, deformed with tumors all over them. And it doesn't matter what GMO they feed rats, it does it. Because it's designed, folks. We're only a generation into this, and people are dying all over the place. And so that's what's so frustrating, and it's what's so stupid about, you know, you run into feds or something with sunglasses on and trench coats, bugging their eyes out at you like you're supposed to be scared of an airpiece, and them acting a It's like, dude, you're walking dead, bro. You're in the same club as I'm in, walking dead. I mean, you're under a total scientific attack, and you're, you're playing along, you know, in dress-up here. You're like you're protecting us from some terror threat when it's publicly run by your bosses. So that's why, I mean, I'm not even worried, folks. It's like uh, there's a reactor leak. We got to fix it, or all of us are dead, basically, as a society. I'll use the Star Trek analogy. For people that can't get a historical comparison, the, the reactor's leaking, the Enterprise isn't going to escape Khan detonating the, the uh, weapon system, and somebody's got to go in there and fix it or nobody's going to make it. I mean, this is guaranteed, pure evil. If you don't believe in Satan, I don't know what planet you're living on, folks, because this is a pure, diabolical, total evil program run out of Europe and the United States. America and Europe aren't doing it. We were the most powerful host to have the organism grow in it. 
And so it's 100% fact that the city of Austin, where I no longer live, our offices are here, puts weaponized levels of fluoride in the water, one part, 1 point, 1.6 per parts per million, even though the government under lawsuits, when their own scientists rebelled, near unanimously, thousands of their toxicologists and scientists last year sent a letter saying, you got to take it out, cancer, death, you got to get the fluoride out. The feds went, okay, we'll recommend if cities want, they can cut to 0 0.7 part per million or cut it in half, basically. None of them did it. They know full well that they told them seven years ago, don't give babies fluoride water. But you see ads everywhere. If your baby needs fluoride, folks, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay? They are murdering you and your family. And they think it's funny. And they think it's cute. And they think it's fun. And if you go to the Austin City Council or any other city council, they'll sit there like fat, degenerate, murderous pigs and, 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 and put a chemical weapon in the water. And they all drink filtered water and they all eat non-GMO. They know what they're doing. They're part of the club, folks. They've been brought into the club. They know. You just understand that. That's why they laugh even when we bring scientists, Harvard and, and other scientists there, to tell them. They laugh because they know. They're like, ha, 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 no. Ha, 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 now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. All right, I got to stop ranting and go to your phone calls. It's just that Bertrand Russell... Aldous Huxley is Julian Huxley, the head of the UN program at UNESCO, Secretary General of UNESCO, uh, the current White House science czar, John P. Holdren. I mean, I've read hundreds of quotes and statements by these people in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, right through to now, saying, yeah, we're going to put stuff in vaccines to make people more pliable. Uh, you know, and we're going to put things, uh, you know, uh, in the uh, water supply so that they're not as fertile, so they don't live as long into long age, uh, late age, where they deplete the social network. And that's why you get so-called liberals on the news going, yeah, let's kill grandma. Let's not give her all the treatment we've paid into. That's the collectivism. You get the young, self-centered, authoritarian liberal, who's not even a liberal, and they're like, yeah, let's kill old people. I want, I want what they get. As if the globalists are going to give you anything, you moron. You're just in the domestication phase before slaughter, stupid. These are organized criminals who know what they're doing. And now the word's gone down, even to the city levels, I've confirmed, with a lot of their operatives, mayors and others, who have actually been brought in on the plan and are going along with it. And the rationale is we're doing it for the earth. We're going to reduce population. The human group is a, is a disease. We've got to get it under control, as Prince Philip and as uh, Prince Charles have both said publicly. Don't believe me? Just type in Prince Charles says we should reduce population with a bioweapon for Prince Charles. And so they're just stunning us right now. Kind of like you humanely electrocute uh, you know, now they send high voltage into a sheep's brain to knock it out before they butcher them uh, over under EU rules. You can pull up those videos of them doing that. Uh, don't pull it up for viewers, but people can see it if they want to see it. And that's kind of what's happening now. We're being humanely stunned, in their own words, ahead of the bioweapon being released. Let's go to uh, Rob. Rob in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Go ahead, then we'll go to uh, Habib and others. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. I'm a first-time caller. Uh, I've been listening for about a year now, and I want to thank you for waking me up. Um, about, this would have been in 2002, early 2003, I was working as a paramedic firefighter in Baltimore, and we took a gentleman to the hospital who was quite obvious he was either FBI or CIA. There's a lot of the complexes down there around Baltimore Airport. He was dying. He was having a heart attack, and you could tell the look of death was in his eyes and he told me that he'd done terrible things he said people who were innocent have died because of things he did um 
I shocked him. I brought him back to life. And he said he saw terrible things. And he said that he was afraid that it's too late. This was back then. I think perhaps we've slowed things down. But I'm calling to urge firefighters in Los Angeles, police, police department in Los Angeles, all these people who know something need to come forward so we can stop this. Specifically, what was he saying? They were going to plan some big stage terror attack? I, he didn't go into specifics, but at the time, uh, just this was status post the whole anthrax type deal. I think that's what he was kind of hinting at, but he would not go into specifics. Well, who knows? They might have poisoned him. He might have been dying. I might have known that too. Yeah, but those guys always, when they get ready to die, they start begging Jesus especially when they've been shocked back to life because a lot of times they see some really bad stuff if they've uh, all, uh, flown into the uh, the bad side of the universe. And, and is, that, is that what you saw in his eyes when you took, brought him back to life? He'd, uh, he'd uh, gone to the bad place? The amazing thing with heart attacks, when people die, when their heart dies, their mind does not. Um, I've Numerous people I've brought, shocked back to life told me that they, they could feel the whole thing happening. They could hear me. They could hear the chaos. And they could feel that power. And I'm not a religious person, but that in itself has always made me think that perhaps there is something else. Sure. Well, exactly. the scientists try to make it up and say, oh, well, it must just be some ancestral programming or memory. But it's more every culture has the same experience. Bad people go to hell with all these other horrible people. You're basically with all their spirits. That's what hell is, is being with all the other bad people like yourself. Or they go in and it's just white thrown the absolute peace uh, and timelessness. And then I've talked to so many people, soldiers, police, you name it, who were particularly good. The whole deal, the angels there, they go, you're being sent back. They're given the data download. It's incredible. It's so real. And, and I've had my own private experiences I won't talk about on air because they'd make an issue out of it in the news. But let me tell you, folks, it's real. There is a heaven. There is a hell. There are demons. There are angels. It's all real. And I just really feel sorry for people that have served evil because they're going to go to hell. And uh, anything else you want to add, sir? Yeah, I do. Uh, well, stay there. I'm going to come back to you. And we're going to get our reporters in here and have them do a report. Then we'll go to all the other callers that are there as well. Stay with us. Colonel Craig Roberts, a good friend of mine, I've known him for about 16 years, was in Vietnam as a um, Marine Corps sniper. Then he was in the Army. Then he was a police department helicopter pilot, SWAT team leader. And uh, he died for 10 minutes and uh, had the whole experience where he went up to heaven, uh, uh, the angel that had been there his whole life with it, uh, that he'd never seen, but his imaginary friend when he was a kid, you know, th that feeling of somebody's watching him was right there. He was given all this information sent back. People laugh at that, whether, whether you believe that's real or not, that's the deeper human psyche. That's what's going on. And we were talking to a paramedic, Rob, who I'm gonna let finish up, and then we're gonna go uh, to this very important report uh, with our two reporters here in studio to finish the other point you were trying to make. But first off, so you shock him back to life. He says, I've done horrible things. Horrible things are going to happen. I guess he was you know, mentioning uh, something about anthrax attacks or whatever, and that he'd done bad things, and then I guess uh, innocent people have been killed. Um, and we know that was a federal operation. It's now come out. They even killed a patsy over it. Uh, but, and that's a whole other subject for folks that want to look into it, but that was done to get the Patriot Act passed. But uh, did he say anything else before he finally died again, and were you unable to, to shock him alive again? No, actually, we got him back, and he was, he was doing fine. I uh, went and spoke to him in his hospital room later that day. Okay, so he uh, didn't die. You're saying he had death on him, and you, you brought him back. Okay. Yeah, we, he had death on his face. We brought him back. Um, he was touch and go there for a while. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, they either did angio or, or one of the procedures that they did back then sure. for that. But no, he, he survived, and, and I tell you, I, I hold hope that he remembered that experience and he did something to change um, the wrongs that he did. What specifically did he say about, uh, about I did horrible things? Uh, I mean, it sounded like you were warning that he was saying there might be a, a terror attack, that they were behind it. I mean, what was he getting at specifically? It wasn't any of the, the specific things that he said. It was just, when, when you, well, back then I wasn't as awake as I am now. Um, so it's, it's, you see people like this, they're dying, they, they have guilt, um, but you're there to treat the patient and, and, and you know, and not the psyche. So you're, you kind of try to comfort the patient. Yeah, it's going to be okay. I'm going to do, you know, I've done training. I know how to do this. I can, I can do it. I just need you to calm down, relax. We're going to go through this step by step, but I'm going to, I'm going to help you get better. 
Uh, but as far as going to anything further, I wasn't awake at the time. Um, our department was um, pretty uh, busy with, with the anthrax scares, but something, something in my mind connected the two. Absolutely. What was the other point you wanted to make? Uh, let's roll 2013, a peaceful rally. Uh, it's going to be held nationwide and locally throughout the United States to try to bring back the Constitution. And I was just trying to get a plug so we can get our numbers up. And uh, I saw the, the uh, overpasses for Obama, and that's great, too. But I think this fall is, is the chance we have to save this country. I agree with you, and it's good to hear from you. I appreciate you calling into the broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Adon Salazar is about to break some big news because <sighs> he's gone to the courthouse, gotten the affidavits, court uh, records. Uh, you know that little girl, Alexandria Hill, who got her brains bashed out a few months after she was taken because the father got ratted out for smoking marijuana late at night while watching movies with his wife? Well, I mean, of course you got to take a child for that. Turns out the foster parents, the, uh, the, the, uh, the male foster parent, it's the woman who's been arrested for reportedly bashing the brains out um, of the little two-year-old, uh, Alexandria. Turns out uh, he has uh, multiple convictions for being a drug dealer. So if you smoke a joint watching a movie, we're going to take your kids and give them to people that look like trolls. And, and the little girl's going to get beat up and have black eyes and her hair falling out. And, and the state's going to not help. They, they know what they're doing. And then when they kill her, well, that's just somebody else to throw in the prison. But they're going to hand your kids over to people with drug convictions. <laughs> drug dealing convictions. Two drug dealing convictions. Not one, but two. And, 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 of course, all the prosecutors and, and bad cops that are on the YouTube video defending it. You people are sick. And, and let me just give you some bad news, okay? Bad news for you. All this evil is going to come back on you. And I've had bad cops where I go, what is that, a threat? And I go, no, dummy. If you had any spirit, you'd know that when you do bad stuff, man, you're not God-fearing. It's not that I even want to do bad things, but I just think about bad things just to analyze them. And I, I just think about how bad that is and how I don't want to be part of that. It's called God-fearing. And you people do not have any bearing. You don't have any mooring, any rudder, any compass, any north star. You do not have any conscience. And you just think whatever's good for you must be good for everybody. So if you want to steal from people or you want to cheat and you want to rationalize, that's okay. And it goes for the general public as well. I mean, this television is nothing but a demonic society now. I'm going to come back, go to calls. Then G. Edward Griffin's going to be on. Ed Aved wants to get his country back. Anthony wants to talk about sodium fluoride. Brad wants to talk about Christians. Daryl wants to talk about Talkers Magazine. Comey wants to talk about solutions. I'll get to a bunch of you. Some of you will be talking to G. Edward Griffin. So stay there. I want to get to all, everybody that I just mentioned and more. Briefly, you can get all the great uh, Longevity products discounted at InfoWarsHealth.com. The very best out there, and that's what finances the show to a great extent. You can also get the ProPure water filters, the lowest prices out there. 10% off promo code WATER at InfoWarsStore.com. See the side-by-side -side comparisons. It blows the competition out of the water, literally. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsHealth.com. Get the T-shirts, get the Patriot gear, get the magazine at cost. Get it out to people. Wake them up. Wear your colors proud. More than 50 great T-shirts for men and women. InfoWarsStore.com. <laughs> Folks, we're into hour number three. Jim Griffin's coming up. We'll continue with your phone calls. Brad in Michigan, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Are you there? Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. I got a, a few things I want to talk to you about. First of all, uh, I'm, I'm a first-time caller. I've been listening to you for about a year and a half now. I love what you do. You, you're totally awesome. Hey, but uh, I want to. I need some advice from you, Alex. Go ahead. You all. You always say. You always say on how our government ships in all these drugs. And these drugs, I live in Detroit, uh, just south of Detroit in the suburbs. And, uh, I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, Alex, it's so bad. You walk into these gas stations and pay for your gas, and they got these glass cabinets right next to the cash register with crack pipes in them, you know, heroin needles, cocaine grinders, anything you need to abuse these drugs. 
My brother put a shotgun in his mouth about 15 years ago due to cocaine. I got a 21-year-old stepson right now that's so addicted to heroin, Alex, it makes me want to cry, man. I mean, he's, it's horrible. He, he's died three times. He can go out, Alex. He can go outside. He'll be broke and grab my lawnmower and run down the street and cut a lawn for 15 bucks and run down the other end of the street and get heroin. And I, come I know, and, and, like, and our troops publicly grow it. And they've had congressional hearings admitting most of the drugs are brought in by our government. Everybody else has to pay 7 to 15%. That is so well known that even in the movie Two Guns, the, you have to pay the CIA 7% to bring cocaine in. I mean, it's just publicly known, and it's a tax on everybody, and it, 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 it's destroying our society. And then they use it to destroy our Bill of Rights, and it's just totally evil. Uh, and you've got to start young with kids explaining drugs are dirty, they're bad, they're stupid, they're not sexy like the media says, like the hip-hop rappers and rock and roll people say. Uh, it is, it, you've, just, you've got to you know, keep them away from it. And then all that money from all the stolen goods and the yards they mow doesn't go to the big banks. And the big banks all publicly launder the drugs, run the drug aircraft, ship the guns. Uh, the aircraft then run the uh, kidnap people as well. That's come out. The Wells Fargo, Wachovia planes, uh, the rendition flights. I mean, it, it, it just, the only reason this has happened is the public is so naive, so childlike. They have no idea that we have absolute demons running the country. It's bigger than Obama. He's just meant to make it trendy to get everybody to go along with the next phase, the full collapse of the country. And I'm so, so sorry to hear about uh, what's happening. I mean, you want advice? Um, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, they, 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 look, they put fluoride in the water to brain damage the kids and uh, destroy your fertility. Gardasil on record reduces fertility, sterilizes a lot of people. We knew that. That was in the trials. Now it's confirmed in a new study. I mean, they're killing us. They're ki they, they, they enjoy it. They make money while they murder us. Imagine wanting to brain damage children. Imagine wanting to take 20, 30 years off their life. Imagine wanting to make them where they can't have kids. Of course they ship drugs into your town. I mean, the cops are so corrupt in Detroit now, they're running around robbing everybody publicly. Uh, and I mean, this is the future for all of America. I mean, we are in judgment because, you know, who's going to save the 53 million babies that have been aborted? The people that lie to themselves and say it's not a human. Well, then you're not a human. I'm not a human either. You see, I mean, the, the globalists only think they're human and all of us are basically uh, a sandwich on the table to be eaten. Well, I'm not their food, but we have to stop acting like sheep and start acting like men, brother. What was your, uh, what advice did you want? Well, like, I'm in the trenches out here. I, I'm a truck driver, and they, I, they, you're talking about control. They got this Qualcomm and these trucks. They tell us when to eat, when to drive, when to sleep. I know, and you soon they'll get rid of you with robots. Absolutely. Oh, you know, my God. And every week I work like, I work like 70 hours a week, and I make like $1,200 a week, and they take $350 of that. For and the cops pull you over, giving you tickets for no reason, bankrupting you, correct? I, correct. I am barely surviving. Everything you say is true. Uh, hold on, I'm going to come back to you in a moment. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro filtered sports bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, Pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. Well, we've given tyranny a ride. It's, it's a actually driving the car now. And a lot of you are under Stockholm Syndrome. You're going to think if you appease the killer, he's going to be nice to you. No, he's going to take you to a basement and torture you for a very long time politically, physically.
because when you let the bad people get control, what do you expect is going to happen? They're always there. They always crave control. I wanted to finish up with a truck driver caller who wanted to ask me uh, some advice. And we're going to we're getting on the line right now an amazing guest, G. Edward Griffin, and I want to get his current prognosis on the Republic and all the revelations that really confirm everything we've said and where he sees things going in the future. Best-selling author of The Creature from Jekyll Island, Exposing the Federal Reserve, and of course RealityZone.com. But uh, real quick, Brad, you had a question. You said they're pushing the limits 70 hours a week, satellite trackers telling you when to eat, when to sleep, harassing you, police checkpoints everywhere, one piece of dust on your back bumpers, and a lot of truck drivers, giant tickets you've got to pay, uh, everything designed, uh, trucks out of Mexico driving down the wages, and then now they're moving to Google trucks. Within about five years, most truck drivers will either not be on the road or you'll be an attendant for the computer helping um, you know, j just be a backup for it. And this is the total control grid. The robots are replacing everybody at the slave factories at Foxconn. And the globalists say that the robots are the answer to their mathematical question. They've never wanted the labor of the serfs. Serfs have always been cheap. Now we're like trash. Has to be taken to the dump. But first you've got to be made totally dependent by being leveraged out by globalism and the rise of automation. Uh, and the shutdown of any real economy. Uh, so what was your question, sir? Yes, sir, Alex. My advice I'm asking you is this. How do I handle all this? I mean, they got me and my whole family. Everybody except me works for minimum wage. They can't get a good job. I mean, we're housed in here like a bunch of hermits, man. And we're barely, they all make minimum wage except me, my stepson, my stepdaughter, my wife. My, my stepson's well you're at a survival point the government's not the government anymore if i was you i would stop paying taxes i mean i'm not telling you what to do this is what i would do if i wasn't running a big operation you know full front in the enemy's face i wouldn't be paying taxes to the offshore federal reserve uh i wouldn't be complying with anything uh, now it is treason against humanity to comply with this alien evil murderous scientific technocratic foreign banking cartel that's occupied the country i mean that, that, that isn't rhetoric that's what we're under and you've got a job to survive. And so uh, I do just like the illegal aliens. I would, uh, I mean, they go and a lot of them get all the free welfare and health care and all that. That's done as a supplement so they can work for low wages and drive down wages. They're just being used as well. So, I mean, I wouldn't probably go do that. But survival, survival, it's all fiat to begin with. Um, I'll ask G. Edward Griffin what you should do, but I know people are collapsing everywhere. And, and they want to collapse you. There's 101 million people now on food assistance. It's set to go to 140 million by the end of this year. I have an article on that today. Uh, this, this is a military uh, technocratic takeover. And so just, you know, get your heart right with God, which sounds like you've done. That's what's most important. Let your family understand this is a scientific attack. And you can organize and rally together. Uh, start planting more gardens. Um, stops i'm sure you'd already don't do this but don't support the big corporate system tell everybody hey we've got to gear up and get two jobs now all of us at minimum wage to try to put stuff back for the real depression that's coming uh and then um i, I know michigan's been targeted for collapse uh you know you may have to evacuate that area at some point god bless you i appreciate your call now you can watch the infowars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.